Should I test should I test run the business before I quit my job? Absolutely. Absolutely. Field test it. Give it a shot. Try something that will give you a baseline of how this is gonna work. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I'll give you an example. If you um wanna find out if you can cook something good, you cook it and you go and let people taste it for free. Mm -hmm. That's going to tell you right away, It'll can you, you cook? Yeah. That's instant feedback because the look on their face is going to be like, mm, this is good. Or the look on their face is going to be like, mm-hmm. Like when, mm -hmm. you see that video when Oprah tasted that woman's million dollar chicken? She didn't even, like, she didn't even think anything different. She was like, okay, mm, all right. This is a million dollars? I'm yeah. spitting this out after the take, yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I, I definitely like that because people always think about how they're going to transition yeah. from their business I mean, from their job to owning their own business. Right. How should that process be? Should, should they focus on, this is one of the advice I've given people. If you're creating your own business and you want to transition out of your uh, job, mm -hmm. then you have to evaluate your expenses yep. and slowly start chipping it away within your own business. Do you got any other plans? Uh, that is definitely good to know startup costs, right? To know um, what you'd be spending uh, to know what you're taking away from that salary position to that independent position. So uh, I've been independent for a while, but I do have a fallback, right? I still teach. But I, I, when I got away from corporate, you know, which is about 15, actually, yeah, about 15 years ago, I walked completely away from the corporate structure. I'm like, I'm good. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to go alone. I had to know what, what it took to run my household. And then I had to know what it took to... Um, you know, to cut back on, right? I had to know, like, you know, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. It's not how mm -hmm. much you make, it's how much you spend, right? So I had to know how much I was spending and where to cut back on. So if I was valet parking everywhere I went, I would start street parking. Mm -hmm. That probably saved me 10 to 40 bucks a month if I was going out a lot. And those are things that you can cut back on. You, you know, you obviously can cut back on the amount of food you consume. Food. Food, food. is one of the biggest killers. Food is a $400 food is a, a month killer. expense. Easy. Easy 400 Easy. And if you're eating good, which all good food costs more money, um, you're going to spend more. If you Whole Food shopping, if you, you know, uh, Gelson's or any of those stores, Trader Joe's, where it's just a little bit more for a bag of lettuce and some other stuff, some organic stuff, that's what you have to pay. Yeah, because it'll add up, especially if you're going out to eat. You won't you won't realize it. You look up, it'd be 15 for this meal, 30 for this meal, going out. Two to two to three times a day. Mm. You know, if you skipping, you know, if you hitting breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner, yeah, that's a lot of money.